It's the 28th of November uh, uh, at the World Health Organization negotiations on research and development. I'm here with Rachel, with I, uh, who's reporting for IP Watch this week, but I know you report for other other publications as well. Can you tell us a little bit about, first of all, who you are and, and what you're uh, doing here this week? Sure. Um, I am an independent journalist. I report for a number of different publications, a lot for Intellectual Property Watch here, uh, reporting for IP Watch on the CWG meeting. Um, so there you go, as a start. So uh, I think I'm one of the only journalists around, <laughs> the only one. <laughs> so we're in the close right now, right? It's, it's all coming down to uh, uh, yep, the it's, next uh, hours. Three o'clock, and we're in the final rundown, going back and forth to see how the final language will shape up and what the outcomes will be. And uh, what kind of access do you have to the, uh, the facility? You, you, you seem to have access to the text of what they're negotiating on. Um, I, I, yeah, I have access to the extent to which uh, countries or NGOs or other people around are, are willing to share texts with me. Um, and their negotiations inside the room, their priorities, what's coming out. So I'm here seeing, you know, as the, to the best of my ability, what's coming out of the room. What do you think the things are that are dividing the negotiators this week? I think primarily from what I've heard, it's um, a question of voluntary or, or binding, in a word. <laughs> Have you heard people talk about the delinkage issue very much? Yes, we have heard about the delinkage issue and um, have seen it come through in the in the recent text. Okay, listen. Before I let you go, is there anything you'd like to add? Um, yeah, I would like to add. Um, it's really important what's going on around here, and hope to draw the public's attention to how uh, the negotiations on a really important subject progress. Thank you very much. Thanks.